Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, can you just hear me? I'm sorry. Oh, hello? Hello? Hello there, can you hear me? Okay, I think you're cutting off. I can't hear you clearly. Hello, can you? Oh, hello. hello. Yes, can now? you hear me now? Yes. All right. Okay, I see. That's good. Okay, so well, I'm good. I mean, I'm happy to see you. How are you today? I'm fine. Okay, that's good to hear. Okay, and what did you do for today? I just learned okay just learning okay and that's good all right and how is the weather the weather is oh okay that's good to hear all right anyways for today we're going to continue to study your book okay just wait for a while i'll i'll show it to you Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, please wait. All right. Yes, so last time we talked about some famous landmarks in your country. Yes. And okay, let's try to look at the pictures here. So just let me know if you're familiar with these pictures. Okay, first one is the Great Wall of China. Are you familiar with it? Yes, I'm familiar with it. Yes, and have you went there or not yet? No, I okay, yeah, me too. I heard it's a very long um journey to go there. <laughs> yes. yes, and so mm -hmm. and I guess it's really beautiful. Don't you agree? Yes or no. Okay, yes. So that's very popular. It's yes. Yes, popular because it's long. Okay, yeah. So the Great Wall of China, of course, it um it can be seen in China. Okay, next is the Colosseum. Okay, so uh, what do you think is the Colosseum? Italy. In Italy? Yes. Italy is a place where to fight. Mm, exactly. Yes, a long time ago, yeah, there are a lot of, you know, um, warriors, yes, fighting in the Colosseum. Yeah, it is held in the Colosseum. <clears throat> and look at the structure. It's very old, right? Mm, exactly. Yes. Okay, and many people will go there to, you know, take pictures because it's part of the history. Okay. Next is the Taj Mahal. Exactly, yes. It's somewhere in India, it's a Taj Mahal. Okay, so. A palace. A palace. Yes. Okay, and it's very um, holy, yes. All right. I don't know, I think it's for the king or the queen. Mm, actually, it's kind of like um, you're going to pray there, yes. 
yeah so some something like that the hall yeah okay and another one is the prophet's mosque yeah mosque the prophet's mosque so look at this one yeah it's actually um somewhere in europe yes it's in there yes okay it's somewhere in europe you can see it there and um, as you can see there are it's very big right and there are a lot of people staying in there okay so that's yeah those are the structures okay so let's discuss about the language detective so we will discuss about present perfect these are the present perfect can you read the sentences please I have I have reading to Machu Picchu. Yes. Another one is another one is I have visited other historical sites. Correct. Next. Next is have you been to Peru? Okay, so the answer would be yes i have or uh, no, no i haven't i haven't correct so once again the highlighted words there are what we call present perfect okay so we have this words have have been i have have visited okay so any questions about present perfect yeah, do you have any questions or no? No, I don't have any questions about the present perfect. Okay, great. So now let's go to uh, looking for, okay, the blue adjectives in the text and use them to describe the pictures in A to D. Okay, so adjectives. What are adjectives again? Do you remember what is it? I know it's uh, something that you know, not verb or a noun. Yeah, it's something that you'll describe. Okay. Uh huh. So use different adjectives to make your writing more interesting. So let's say, for example, the track goes through beautiful scenery. Okay. So what is the adjective there? The word beautiful. Correct. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We will describe and give adjectives to each pictures. Let's start with the Great Wall of China. It's, the Great Wall of China uh, is long. It's long. Okay, what is the adjective of your sentence? It's long okay long yes it can be all right or yeah let's make um the word long into more specific okay so the great wall i'll write it in the chat box of china is long and or is amazingly long. Okay, so the word amazingly there is also an adjective. Okay. All right. Okay. Another one. How about the Colosseum? Oh, the Colosseum is... Sorry? The Colosseum is... It's a long time ago. Okay, what does that? The Colosseum is? Old. Is old. 
Okay. So yes, a very simple sentence is correct. That's right. Okay, so what we're going to do now is to um, elaborate it more. Okay, so instead of using old, we can just say the Colosseum, the Colosseum is Okay. Other adjectives of old is, all right, I'm going to give you more hints of words. Okay. Sweet. All right. Okay, so we can say that it's ancient. Okay. Okay. So the Colosseum is ancient. All right, so other words of old is ancient. So ancient is also um, an adjective, okay? Right. Now let's have the Taj Mahal. The Taj Mahal is big. Other words of big? Taj Mahal is large and big. Okay. You said the Taj Mahal is large and big. Okay. Aside from its um it is large and big, can you describe it more? Beautiful. I'm sorry, um, the background is so noisy, I can't hear you clearly. Can you say it again? Okay, yes, yeah, it can be used in that way. Okay, okay. or you, you can say, aside from it's um, big or it's large, Okay, we can also say that um, it is uh, magnificent, right? Uh, magnificent, right? So when we say magnificent, it's also saying um, beautiful. Yes, you're just describing it in the most highest level way, okay? Another one in letter D. Uh, yes. What can you say about the Prophet's Mosque? The Prophet's Mosque is... Yes. How to say the prophet's mosque? Okay. What's on your mind? I think it's large, but I said it in the Taj Mahal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let's make or um, let's find another word of large. Okay. So you can say enormous. Yes. Yes, you can say it in that way. Yes. So, okay, those are the things that you have described in each picture. All right. So, very well. Thank you so much for your ideas. Okay, now let's go to choosing a landmark and find out information on it. Write about it and include a picture. Okay, so... Okay, let's try to um, search for the beautiful landmarks in your country. Okay. Oh, it's far from your country. I mean, <coughs> your place. In my place, but it's in my country. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, do you know what is it called? Uh, it's called Landmark 81. Oh, can you please type the name? Oh. 
our landmark 81. Oh, what is in there? Oh, is it like a building? Oh, high buildings. I see. Okay. Oh, is it in Hanoi? No, it's not in Hanoi. It's okay. And um, yes. How long will it take to go there? Like how many hours? Um, it's uh, Three two thousand kilometers away. Wow, I, I guess it's very far. <laughs> yes, it's so far. Okay, I see. So you'll travel there by what? By plane? By bus? Yes. By train? By plane. I need to travel by plane. Okay, I see. All right, so you can see their beautiful um, and amazing tall buildings. Am I right? But I haven't go to there. Yes, and you wanted to go there. <laughs> yes. yes, okay. All right, so, okay, so those are part of the beautiful landmark in your country. Okay, so I have searched the pictures and I can see that it's really nice. Yes, there are, I mean, the lights in the evening is really wonderful. Yes, okay, yes, okay. All right, it's a very well-structured um, city. Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank you for sharing your information. Okay, so now let's talk about the Hobbit. Remember the Hobbit? Um, yes, the picture of the Hobbit house. Okay, so have you read the Hobbit or perhaps seen the film? Never. Okay, so now let's read and listen to an extract from the hobbit by J.R.R. tolkien and match the headings the correct paragraphs one two and three okay it's a the hobbit's house definition of a hobbit hole and what is a hobbit like so let's discuss that one later on first let's read about the hobbit okay so please read in a hole of the ground there lives a hobbit, not a nasty, dirty, wet hollow, due to the end of work and oozy smell, not yet a dry, bare, sandy hole, with nothing in it to sit down or on or to eat. It was a hobbit hole, and, it, and that means home for it. Okay, so this is what it looks like, all right? It looks moldy. Yes. Next, it had. It had a perfectly round door like a porthole, made green with a shiny yellow backdrop at the exact middle. The door opened on a T-shaped hall like a tunnel, a very comfortable tunnel without smoke. Its panel walls, a pool, tile, and carpet provide with Polish chairs and lots uh, and lots. Passage. Passage. The best room were all on the left, on the left hand side going in. On this where the only one have window, deep set brown windows looking overhead, garden and meadows be 
beyond floating down to a river. Okay, so this is how it looks like. All right. And? Oh, Hobbit was a very well to do Hobbit. And his name was Baggy. And Baggy left the room and lived in the neighborhood of the youth for time of time. And people considered them very respectable, not only because most of them were rich, or, uh, but also. Uh, because they never had any adventure, so I did everything on a chance. You expected. Tell, expected. You could tell what a baby would say or a person about the mother of a skin king. This is a story of, of how the baby is an, an adventure. The priority is self being and saying. Things altogether unexpected. He may have lost the neighbor's respect, but he gained well. Let's see what else he get in the end. Okay. So, yes, um, we have introduced here uh, who's living in the Hobbit. It's what we call the Baggins. Yes, correct. Okay, and this is how they look like. Right, so do you think they're tall or they're just short? I think he is just short. Exactly, yes, because if you're tall, you cannot live in the Hobbit. <laughs> yes, okay, so as you can see here um, on the photos, there are also very fancy, right? Very fancy rooms and um, uh, the, the floors, were tiled and has a carpet. Yes, and look at the chairs. It looks like very expensive and very elegant. Mm -hmm. And what else can we see? Okay, yes, there you go. All right, so we can also see the porthole. Okay, it's also painted in green. Okay, so. Yes, if you're gonna live in the Hobbit, um, I mean, are you going to live in the Hobbit? Or do you wanna live there? Yes? No. Oh, no, why? I don't know. Okay, maybe you like the tall one. <laughs> yes okay that makes sense okay that's good all right so now let's have this one okay what is a hobbit like a hobbit likes the hobbit likes Okay, the hobbit likes to see the hobbit. The hobbit's small and he smell. All right, that's correct. And for them, it's comfortable to live. Yes. Okay, so that's what um how they describe the hobbit. Okay, the Hobbit's house. Okay, so as you can see there, we have um, the definition of what's inside the Hobbit. Okay, so, okay, how about the bedrooms? The bedroom is, uh, the bedroom is uh, yes. Uh, do you think there are lots of bedrooms inside the Hobbit's lots, house? Yes, there are. Okay, and they are also some bathrooms, cellars, kitchen, wardrobes, pantries, dining rooms. Yes, so all of them is just in the same floor and indeed on the same passage. 
Okay, so the same passage and the same floor. Okay, no second level, just first. Okay. Yes. So, all right. No, 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 no second floor. Correct. Okay. So, as you can see in each passage, we have um, highlighted words. So, like Uzi, um, porthole, meadows, well to do, time out of mind, respectable. Okay. Yes. And that's it. Okay. Do you know all these words? Are you familiar with these words? I'm not familiar with you. Okay, yes. So let's discuss that one on the latter part. So let's read the text again and answer the questions. What kind of house do you think it is? I think it's a semi-detached. Semi-detached? Do you remember what's a semi-detached? Um, Oh, I remember it's a detached. I am it's a bungalow. Okay. Do you think it's a bungalow? Um, uh, I think it's um a semi-detached. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a sem when a semi-detached it means it has it's a big house. Yeah, it's big. Oh yeah, it's big. Yeah. So this is actually what we call an echo house. Yes. So you see um, inside or outside from it, you can see uh, grass or grasses. There are also woods, okay? So it's an echo house, okay? And what size is the tunnel? The size of the tunnel is wide. Exactly, I mean, it's wide, correct. <laughs> It's wide, okay, not very big, but wide, okay? So just to feed them. Okay, next. Where are all the ba best rooms? It's on the right. Okay, is it on the right? Let's on see. The left. Okay, yes, it's on the left side. Okay, so on the left is the correct answer. And next, what can he see out of his window? Is, uh, another house. Another house? Okay, let's see. All right. Okay, where is it? Okay, window. Okay, so it says that it has a comfortable panel or tunnel. Yes, and the window. Okay. Yes, it's actually a garden. Yes, his garden. Okay, so he can see um, out of the window his garden. Okay, so all right. Anyways, um, do you have any questions about the story? No. Okay, no. I guess you understood what is it all about and how does a hobbit look like? Yes, because it was described there. Anyways, let's just continue everything in our next class since we're running out of time. We'll answer more of the questions, okay? Okay. Okay, so thank you and see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye.